good morning welcome into the channel i hope you guys are having a good day i'm gonna go ahead and um get the next zodiac started for this um this series i feel with the airplane emoji um we have been permitted to travel okay um the mothership has given us or granted us access to travel all right um you could be doing this by way of actually physically traveling to this location um that i'm gonna tell you it's number 11 okay um it's the manchu picchu at peru okay um oh i'm hearing that sound pedal pedal Okay, I don't know. Anyway, by WizKid, take it as it resonates. You might have been listening to that song recently or something like that. Anyway, this is the 11th wonder of the world out of 14. Okay, there's only seven wonders listed, um, but there's two lists. One is an original and one is a new or modernized list. Okay, the list was updated or upgraded around 2002 or 2012. So since we've been permitted to travel, they want you to connect with Machu Picchu. Um, you can do this by way, like I said, of physically going to the, this location, or you could do it the way I do, which is meditate on the energy of this location to ask source what it is you need to see at this location, okay? As you set up your star center within this location, okay? Now, um, if you're interested in the other wonders of the world go ahead and check out the other zodiac signs whether you have that sign in your chart or not you may resonate with the reading energy anyway um that's a message for a few of you out there okay um be sure to drop your girl a like um go ahead and subscribe to the channel okay if you're new okay gemini energy company are really really strong there could be a lover situation that you're dealing with um this reading does have the energy of um a love story okay um so let's get in, let's get into it. Show me clearly, Holy Spirit, what zodiac is going to connect with this wonder of the world. Okay, the color pink could be very significant. Um, also, shells representing braided hair. There could be an Aries or an Emperor that's significant. Okay. Um, there we go. Okay, Pisces. All right, I feel like a divine connection. Okay, some type of divine connection here or relationship commitment partnership okay excuse any noise you hear my kitty cat is over there rolling her ball around on the floor she's playing okay gemini wants to come through so strong gemini we have done your reading already okay i need somebody else here no more gemini this is definitely about some type of decision or some type of love relationship love story so let me tell you because it's actually um let's get back into it. okay so we had the shells that we talked about okay Sagittarius we have done you who's at the bottom and still Gemini okay um we have done Capricorn let me tell you this we've done Capricorn we've done Scorpio we've done Gemini we did Aries we did Sag we did Aquarius we did Ophiuchus we did Pisces we did Taurus we did Leo we've done Aquarius we need like Virgo. Okay, Libra. There we go. We'll take Libra. Okay. So this is going to be Libra energy. All right, Libra. This is going to be your reading. Okay. Next, we're going to do Cancer, I believe. We're going to make it easy. Okay. So Libra, you're the only one that got to see a sneak peek of what sign is going to come next. So I feel like you have some insider intel, Libra. You got the you got the inside scoop on something, Libra. I don't know what that is. That just came in um, in the reading right now. So back to my notes. Shells. Okay, you could be seeing a lot of shells. Um, you could be drawn to maybe put shells in your hair or have shells around you or read shells. Um, your hair could be braided or you could be pulled to braid your hair at this time. Okay. Um, when something like that occurs, that's not just you wanting to go get your hair done, okay, in that particular style. It's something going on on astral that's caused you to go get that style, okay? Um, I don't know. Something, some spirit told me to tell you guys that. Um, so anyway, feather energy as well, okay, and long hair. The feather 
coinciding with the long hair at this time. So shells and braided hair, which is the feminine energy, and feather and long hair, which is showing up as the masculine energy. Okay, the energy of the hawk the feminine and the energy of the wolf, the masculine. Okay. Um, there's an energy of union or marriage, a renewal of power and strength. Okay. There's an energy of new or sacred practice being learned. Okay. Uh, this new or sacred practice that you're going to be learning Libra. I feel like you're going to be doing this like in, in, you know how they say when two or more gather together, there got to be also in the midst or in the mixed, okay, um, basically, uh, it's like that, it's like you're going to be maybe doing some type of sacred practice, look, renewal at the bottom of the deck there with the princess and the frog, okay, um, basically, you're going to be maybe, like, maybe you're going to start praying as a family, okay, or doing something as a unit, that's what I'm trying to say, there's something, there's a sacred practice, that's the something, that you're gonna, you're about to start doing as a unit, okay, um, it could be the team effort, the team, uh, structure that you're trying to push, or the team energy, um, team building, okay, um, team facilitations, like, that type of energy, these group okay these hubs the energy of the star center is what you are pushing so basically what source is saying when you visit Machu Picchu whether you're doing this via meditation or you get it in a download or a dream okay um the energy that source is trying to get you to grab a hold to is the energy of unity the energy of, of um uh coming together okay partnership working together with others okay collaboration energy all right so you're out here you have this seven energy and for me the seven is very it's divine it's like you're 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 you could be at a standstill um libra energy uh or it could be something divine like you had a pause because you're waiting on on spirit you could also be in a place of surrender because you're waiting on source like this is you solely depending on source um for whatever it is that you need okay enlightenment here okay you're waiting you're looking to the enlightenment you're look listening to the enlightenment your higher self okay um and libra energy you're bringing yourself balance here okay um by listening to your higher self surrendering what you want surrendering your ego surrendering uh what you think you have to have surrendering what you like less of you and more of spirit okay and that's what's happened here is less of you and more of the enlightenment you maybe ask god or maybe you need to ask god to fill you up more um with the spirit okay to replace any 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 holes okay um yeah because I feel like your energy be cleared out okay and I feel you 744 on the clock be filled up Okay, with more of source, more of light energy. Okay, more of this enlightenment. Okay, Libra. All right, so what's at the bottom of the deck? Still the frog spirit with renewal. Okay, so I feel like that's what they're doing. They're renewing your energy, possibly you and someone else, or possibly just giving you the strength to be able to collaborate, okay, with others. Um, maybe you have felt like you you weren't energized or something like that, but now you're going to be feeling like the power, the energizer bunny, okay? Like you're going to just keep going and going and going. So, um, there's an energy, like I said, of that new sacred practice. Source is going to reveal to you what that sacred practice is, okay? It could be you connecting daily to these star centers, these hubs of ev uh, elevated consciousness to be able to um, bring these messages down to bring forth to your family members, your loved ones, your community, your friends, your coworkers, whoever it is you're socializing uh, and connecting with, okay? So the people of this star center, they desire you to be an open channel. Okay, we have gratitude coming out. All right. Um, I feel like they want to shower some type of blessings down on you. Um, in in and I also feel like you uh you need to give thanks for being in this. I'm hearing spotlight or in this position. Okay. Um, starry night with acceptance here. Okay. Um, I, I think also that they are asking you, like they said, they want you to be an open channel. Okay. They want to work through you. The spirit wants to move more freely through you. Okay. So you could be doing a lot of fasting or focusing on just, um, being spiritually health conscious. Okay. Not like because you're worried about your weight or, or not, or maybe you are, I don't know, but what I'm getting is that it's more of you're doing whatever you're doing and eating whatever you're eating because you're trying to um spiritually you're trying you're ascending okay because there is there is ascension energy with the way that she's kind of going up into this you know this night i am mean, getting ascension energy okay um 
I feel like someone could be watching you ascend or someone's guiding you. Maybe this is your, your spirit guide that's guiding you, Libra, uh, that's assisting you as you ascend. And they're like, hey, just give thanks because you're ascending. Follow my lead, okay? Follow the lights. Uh, follow the yellow brick road, okay? Whatever it is. Yeah, purification because they're leading you uh, to this pine spirit. So they're leading you to a pure heart, a pure space. They're leading you oh to some i feel okay so basically manifesting your dreams okay your manifestations are coming in they're leading you to a pure space a pure heart pure energies other like-minded energies individuals okay you may desire to purchase a feather i have that note here um i'm going to be purchasing one myself um uh, probably a white feather um just because of the uh cleansing properties that it has for the shamans okay so you also may want to look into that or maybe you've already done so Okay, um, so we have chaos with the storm spirit. Okay, bell meaning they want me to tell you about the bell meaning. So, chaos and the bell meaning what's at the bottom of the deck? Because I need to see how that goes. So, we have love here. Okay, maybe there was someone that is receiving oh, 11 on the clock. Yeah, someone's receiving some type of judgment. Um, and you guys heard that noise outside, whatever that was, at the same time, which is confirmation. Um, they're receiving some type of judgment for the fact that they came up against your love life. Because I'm seeing, Libra, someone could have tried to come up against you or speak out against your love life. Someone's going to be receiving a judgment back on that, okay, with fire spirit and um, uh, energy, fire energy. Maybe they did some type of candle magic on you, okay, to uh, try to block your love life. I feel like they are, they're seeing, they're having a face judgment at this time. Okay, Libra, your enemies, all right? So the bell meaning, okay, could be significant. I looked it up and it speaks about victory and success and joy and freedom. Okay, so you could be feeling all of those or walking into this next phase or season of victory, success, joy, and freedom. Congratulations, Libra. Okay, so a significant event, yes, of injustice in occurred. So it did. I forgot. Yes, it did. I haven't read, read through these notes. So there was chaos and the chaos spirit, all right, was actually a significant event that occurred um, at this site. Okay, that's what spirit revealed to me um it had to do with it had to do with five ancestors okay and five ancestors they were actually kidnapped okay they were tricked they were locked up and treated like animals forced um forced on a ship or captured okay um bear spirit came through after that so we have generosity and grace this bear spirit this bear spirit is coming through and it's going to um lead you into safety okay um you're led to safety because your ancestors want you led to safety because they were not okay so it's like you're standing in you're filling in, you're filling in um space you're filling in time as well it was lost okay from your ancestors okay with this grace and generosity um the bear spirit is 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 coming in to allow you to escape to safety and peace okay um the bare meaning has a lot to do with courage, but this courage, it's like you're going to take some sort of action and the courage that you take or have to take that action. Um, once you do so, it's going to like in turn, the reverse effect is, is powering you up. Okay. It's like giving me, they said Power Rangers and they also said the Wakanda suit um, that Chad, Chadwick Bosman wore in the, in the movie um, that when people hit his suit or he, he was attacked, um, it actually powered his suit up. And so it gave me that energy, but in, in the, the way of courage like the more action you take the more fearless you are okay um then you will actually be powering yourself up every time you take like these uh calculated risk okay um that spirit tells you to do like spirit's about to tell you to move in a way and everybody may not resonate with that way at first everybody may not see it that way at first um but there's going to be an energy that's backing you okay they're showing me this energy be pushed behind you um but it's a supportive energy it's an energy uh, that's like don't worry just follow my lead okay and and everything else is going to fall in line okay um so things are like falling in line okay um your ancestors are working together with you to bring you healing and this healing look manifesting your dreams at the bottom of the deck they just need you to be flexible 
Okay, they just want you to be that open channel. They like, look, all you need to do is just move. Hey, when I move, you move. Just like that, okay? It's like that vibe, all right? So the number 11 could be very significant for you as well because I feel the energy of you walking down a new path, okay? You also could be seeing the bluebird, okay, uh, with happiness, or you could just be feeling um very happy at this time, okay? I feel romance is in the air, all right? Soak it up. Okay, enjoy it. You deserve it. Okay. Um, I'm hearing that song. You deserve it. We got that freedom popping out for you. So we're definitely headed there. Okay. Um, remember, this is courage that replenishes your power. Okay. You are fearless. All right. That's your affirmation for you, um, viewer, Libra, read, watching this reading, viewing this reading. I am fearless. Okay. Um, fear nobody but God, baby. All right. And even then, if you're doing it right, you know, the big man upstairs, you know, he going to take care of you. All right. You guys have a good day. Be sure to like, share, comment or subscribe and we'll see you next time.